I came to be involved with All Few was that a group of artists had gotten together and were having an informal show at a small coffee place in the Kingsway in Toronto. And we had had our work there for about a month. And one day the owners said, we'd really like you to get rid of all your work. We'd like you to collect it and take it away. But we don't want to do the art show thing anymore. So we all went and collected our work and we were standing around on the sidewalk with our paintings leaning up against us and wondering what to do. And I looked around and I said, huh, bunch of artists looking for empty walls. One of the people who was showing there said, hey, that's a fantastic name for a group. Artists looking for empty walls, all few. You. you should organize something for us. Well, we're always looking for a place to hang. So, hey, I thought, why not? Yeah, we really like to try and get as many artists out as possible. I'll use the analogy of trying to herd cats. It's really hard to get the artists together and organized. It's, it's always a challenge, and I really enjoy it. got involved with the Grange. Grange is a historic building in Mississauga and it is also the home of Heritage Mississauga. I found out about a space that they have upstairs where one can have art shows. I was lucky enough to secure time to have an art show in um, June of 2010 and the Grange was uh, kind enough to hold an opening for us which was lots of fun. The people at the Grange are just great to work with. Historian Matthew Wilkinson who he always is present when we're hanging. He had an intern this year called uh, Sophia. She was so great helping us to hang. She has such a great eye for positioning the art. We invited all of you to come to the space, number one, because it was a, a space that was very underutilized. It's a facility that we are looking to promote not only in terms of community awareness of the building and of the organization, but also because it is a, a fantastic meeting space. And it was a meeting space that we were underutilizing in terms of its potential for uh, art displays. Um, and so being able to twin the two of an art organization that is able to provide revolving uh, art displays with in an environment that uh, community is, is able to use as meeting space, but also uh, brings people into the building to see the art shows and offers a venue for the artists to sell their works. It's a win-win partner. Matthew asked me if I happened to have some spare art that we could hang in the meeting room downstairs. They don't like to have bare walls, so he asked me and I said I thought I could work out something. I rushed off to some of my fellow artists and was able to pull together about 25 pieces. I think it was about an hour later I returned with all the work. When it was time to take down the upstairs show at the end of August, I was ready to take away the art in the basement as well and Matthew said, well, could you leave it or uh, do you have any other art you'd like to hang there? Of course, I was thrilled. Lo and behold, he suggested that I might like to curate the space in the downstairs meeting room, which would provide the Grange with an ongoing show and interesting work on the walls. And, of course, it provides all of you with an opportunity to have its members display their work in a very nice space. I can't stress too much how much we do appreciate the folks at the Grange. It's wonderful to work with people who are so friendly and so accommodating. And each time we hold a show, we have better and better attendance. And we have begun to gain a fair amount of interest from the community.
And a word from Jamie Gaspar. <laughs> Jamie, uh, the, the Grange has been very, very generous with uh, all of you, and, and dealing with the Grange has always been a pleasure. Dealing with Matthew directly and uh, dealing with yourself and Jane is also a joy. We really appreciate having all of you artists collective with us here at the Grange because it really livens the house up. It gives all of the people who use the lecture hall an opportunity to see Mississauga artists in action and to see their the kinds of works that Mississauga is producing. And we really appreciate working with the all few organizer Louise because she is just so enthusiastic about sharing her time and her efforts in making this a really exciting opportunity and a, a nice space. So we appreciate her efforts and appreciate her bringing all of you to us. Um, it's, a, it's a house that really requires good use of all of its nooks and crannies and spaces and our lecture hall was a very cold and, and boring space uh, for so many years and now it's just a livened up exciting space for people to come to and all the groups who rent the space every time they come in each month they see something new and they're just so enthusiastic about that so we really appreciate all of your support and Louise's support in making the house an even more exciting place for the public. have uh, actually sold some work here which is great and we look forward to selling some more. If you're in Mississauga why don't you come on down visit the Grange. The Grange is at 1921 Dundas Street West in Mississauga and you can call them at 905-828-8411. They love to have people drop by and they'll give you a tour of the beautiful historic house. There's a lot to see there and uh, and of course come on downstairs and have a look at our show. If you're an artist and you just happen to be watching this video on YouTube and you're interested and you're in the area, why don't you contact us? Yeah. We have a website. Yes, it's uh, allfew.com. Couldn't be easier, really. www.alfew.com. Artists looking for empty walls.